Whoa, I just landed in, heard a missile going off. So I guess our little buddy over here is fighting something. I know if I hit him just right, I should be able to just... Yeah, there you go. Dead. I wonder what he was firing at. There's normally raiders that would patrol this area. So possibly that. Not so long as you're carrying it. Hmm. I also noticed I got a bloat fly gland, so I can go back to the sands, people. If I haven't finished that, how many missiles do you have? Four? Here. Not a bad wee haul from them. Not at all. Alright, there's some Marlurks down here. I just, I just want to talk to them. And then afterwards, we're going to go to Hubris Comics. Ah, that's what he was firing at. I haven't seen you guys in a while. Fire till you see the whites of their eyes, Doc. Ah, that's where you came from. Okay. Cool. You all still alive? Surprisingly. Okay. So, as promised, today is Hubris Comics. We'll be picking up the Silver Shroud outfit as well as Grognag's outfit. And, I believe a skill book. Just alongside it all. It's hard to beat. But well, it's great to see you all join in this 100% playthrough. Ah, Swan's common. We will be killing Swan. I probably could two-shot him, but eh, make him a bit more cinematic at some point. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's this way. And voila, hubris. Let's head on in. I love the eeriness of this place. Ah, yes. It seems the local residents. I wonder who thought this would be a good place to hold up. <laughs> oh, by the way, I do have a level up. Which I got off screen. Idiot Savant. Well, now up at a five times XP. Imagine that would trigger. If that triggered on like a quest, that might be extreme. Like a really good boost. Then, as someone rightly pointed out, even. Bingo. Oh. Another 1%. Visit the Uxron Galaxy. Looks like kind of Rick and Morty vibe there. Hands off the map. Oh. Definitely not smarter, nor torture, nor retired. I've come refreshed when it comes to opening terminals. So this one, this one's going down. If I can find like anything else now. Origins. Uh, Kendrick has an eye. Okay, it's not that. Hmm. Ah, my strategy of that usually works. As throughout the series, many times. Okay, it's like stamina. Uh, nice. Nice. So 95% of pre-orders were picked up last month. Ran out of Grognag twice, requesting additional copies of Grognag. Uh, 102 Grognag the Barbarian Lost in the Snows of Lust, 86 Captain Cosmos, the Radioactive Spaceman from Space, uh, 31 Tales from the Front, the Red Terror, 10 Underground Life, Full Boy Special, and 2 Manta Man Voyages of the Deep. Both of the Manta Man weren't picked up, no more pre-orders for Mr. Freely and Dover, the rest of the Mantas still in boxes, putting them in the free bin tomorrow. Can we stop stocking these? Uh, got several inquiries with Silver Shroud comic book rumors. 
Uh, 110 Grognag the Barbarian Heavy the Oaken Crown. I think that's the one that you actually never see in game, but obviously it's mentioned here. Uh, 85 Captain Cosmos versus the Moon Men. 30 Tails from the front, some of them must die. And 9 Underground Life, Timmy's Big Adventure. Our in-store subscription numbers remain dangerously low. We need to start laying on the hard sell. Just remind the customers we do all the work. They just come in and pick up the issues. Oh, and it's 5% cheaper than doing a, d a direct mail home order. Fortunately, we've had some new subscribers. Stephen Dematis, Marcus Poe, Frez Flam, Joseph Lottier, uh, Jonah Hartman, and Kevin Pam. Okay. Yeah, let's just open the safe. I wonder what one that is. Valentine like that. Yes. Ah, yes. So this is Grognag's axe. If you want to cosplay him, his outfit is actually at the top of this building. I'm near sure. Got him. Lights out for you. Take all that. Even break a sweat. It Not seems Nick has decided to go upstairs and just finish things off, which. I must admit, fair play to him. <laughs> Good on you, Nick. Sure made a mess of this place, didn't they? Can I get up from here? Yeah, you know how to scare people, don't you? Anything in the bathroom? Oh, jangles. And a scavenger with a scavenger's note. I wonder what the... Sounds like we have a lot of company coming. A lot. Scavenger's note. So we read, see what on earth they wanted. Well, we'll see which one it is. One of the caravan guards said they passed by Federal Ration Stockpile away a while back. Thought it might have some good scrap to salvage. Might be worth a look. And then, can't believe I signed up for this. Who wants this crap? Collectors, the boss says. Who's the fool here? Them or us? So what did that add? Like a wee minor quest line to go look for salvage? I mean, we've already been there, but eh, I'll go back again. Will not bother me. Sorry, Ow. Folks, won't be <laughs> oh, that's nice. A wounding hardened sniper rifle target bleeds. Problem with sniper rifles, sniper rifles is I would like to hope that I would kill them with one shot rather than hoping they bleed out after I hit them. I've noticed we're maintaining like a nice level of ammo when it comes to this weapon. I've yet to run out or run dangerously low, so we'll try and keep that up, maintain it. You know what, after this I might just go and kill Swan. Might be worthwhile. Yes. And pick up all the nice items he'll have, no doubt. Manager's terminal. That's where all the ghouls were jumping out of. Oh, there's more. Aha! They needed more times where girls would crawl out of windows. I loved that wee part of the Super Duper Mart. Like, it was so... Obviously, you'd have to script it in and all, but so just eerie when that happens. up to the next level so we'll read the manager's terminal get a wee bit of a feel as to what was going on from tina hopkins to vivian odell now an english butler i came into work today and found another stealth revision to the shooting script now the shroud has an english butler i keep telling babowski that we need our core fans to be our to be our evangelists so we can't keep making these stupid little changes you have to talk to him before you go on vacation otherwise i swear i'm bringing it up to pete Please help. I want to pull out my hair. Babowski has cast and signed a contract with, Char uh, with Claire Riddell for the role of the Mistress of Mystery. 
I don't care how much the tomb of Mama grossed. The mistress of mystery is a brunette, not a blonde, brown, and definitely not a redhead. And have you heard Claire's voice? The mistress of mystery is confident, a match for the shroud at his best day. Not some half-starved waif that's known for shrill screaming. Shannon Rivers has worked for us for many decades. She is the voice of mystery of mistress. Our mistress of mystery. End of story. She's even a natural brunette. She's not as young as Claire, but surely we can do something with lightning to help with that. If we don't fix this, I swear I'm walking. I won't have my name in the credits for this train wreck. Ari, Mistress of Mystery, casting. Vivi, relax. If it's that important to you, maybe we can put Claire in a wig. But the contract is signed, so this is happening. What is it with you guys and Mrs. Rivers anyway? Maybe 20 years ago, but now she's got a face for radio. <laughs> Am I right? Uh, Claire's got star power and that's what we need. I talked with Petey Boy and he's agreed to a couple of new scenes. We need romance and Claire's got the goods. If Tina can't roll with this then I can fly in one of my boys from Hollywood. He's a class act. I got a full schedule today. Dress rehearsals until 8. This can't wait until you're back from the Bahamas. So we have to meet. It's my only window. Ah, there was a little bit of drama going on when it comes to the casting. Of mystery of mistress. Ah, first desk fan. Love it. Second desk fan in quick succession. Love that even more. A third one? This place is great. Fantastic place for desk fans. Silver Shroud. Best wishes, the Silver Shroud. It's kind of cool looking, isn't it? Why is there another stair? Ah, uh, picked up some burnt comics. They need removed from the game, like. Because of my overactive lootingness. It's inconvenient. Oh, hello. Someone call for <laughs> That's what it triggers on? <laughs> That's quite funny, actually. You got a thing for antiques, huh? <laughs> Producer's term. Uh, Evans, Rochelle to Aaron Babowski. Claire can't wait. I tried stalling her, but things are spiral spiraling over here. Her agent was having dinner with Maxwell over at the Derby. Uh, need some water for these these narrations. Not good. Claire's still on board. She loves the script. She especially loves the outfits. You've got the shots of that, right? Yoza. Um, so I don't care what's going on over there. We need to sign her before we lose her to the wise men's or someone else. We looked into the Hopkins contract. It's ironclad. The only way she's out is if she walks. Her partner signed over his rights to hubris, but she still has hers. Even if she thinks she's going to a lawyer, you gotta work your magic, Babo. Imagine if we needed her approval. Uh, it's come to my attention you've hired Miss Claire for the role of mystery mistress. This is unacceptable. Um... Wait, who was this? From Vivian to Aaron. Oh, so she did bring it up to him. Sharon Rivers has voiced MMM for years and is beloved in the Shroud and every other radio drama she's been part of. I know we've had our differences, but this affects more than the Silver Shroud. The MOM and the Unstoppables are big brands. We absolutely must talk before I go on my vacation. Vivi got hold of me before she left. I got the photos of Claire and she's dynamite. Love the alterations on the costume. It feels like the comic, but more believable. So I'll be back there. Um, but I'm with Vivi. MOM's a brunette, period. Her voice needs to be strong. Claire's voice isn't. Can we have Shannon dub over Claire's Claire in post? That's the word, right? That would be the best of both worlds. That would be something. I quit. Effective immediately, I quit. You can explain to Petey how you lost the lead writer for the Silver Shroud. And after everything Shannon has put up with, if you want to fire her, do it yourself. Manticore has been wanting to hire me for years. Looks like your loss is their gains. Wow, there was a lot going on here. Let's play the Silver Shroud script, shall we? Collected. Being dust. Hold on, I'll bring it up again without blinding me. Here it is. So, title card: Adventures of the Silver Shroud. Q instrumental instrumental theme song. Episode card: Death Becomes You. Narrator of today's episode. End title sequence. Title card: Boston 2077. Exit: Boston Street Night. 
Newly shot footage of the Boston skyline at night. Full moon lights up in the sky. The mass fusion building, Trinity Tower, clearly visible. Pan down to the street level. The hustle and bustle of Boston at night. Cars, people um, enter the rusty anchor pub. Uh, a ceiling fan spins over a card table. Three men, two women, all gangsters, sit quietly, contemplating their cards. A pile of chips sit in the middle of the table. This is clearly a high-stakes backroom card game. Uh, Crazy Clara, glad you think so. Baldy Pete, okay, fine, I'm all in. Baldy Pete pushes all his chips into the middle, making the pile even larger. Silver Shroud, actually, you all fold. Everybody at the table looks around in panic. Nobody knows where the voice came from, but they recognize the voice as being from the Silver Shroud. No, it can't be. Oh, but it can. The lights go out. Suddenly, the room is illuminated by the fire from a barrel of a machine gun. It's the Silver Shroud. He appeared as if by nowhere and has spread the room of bullets. In the flashes, the different gangsters can be seen falling over, almost as if it's stop motion. The lights come back on. All the gangsters lie dead. The Silver Shroud stands next to the table, machine gun smoking. He looks directly at the camera and speaks, Feeny Five, death has come for you, and I'm its shroud. Cool. That was a... Uh that was a unique read. Okay. There's the costume. Take long. Okay. Why does it say glowing one? it was real that would have been awesome so when you're up here you can of course activate and get the the shroud the costume's huh. pretty cool so this is where they filmed that god awful tv show that seems next previous uh memories weren't great of it so there are some other costumes but the most important one is of course <laughs> grognak increases the worst strength and melee damage Pretty good. I say pretty good. It's awesome. I like it. it Seems there's still a few about. Which means we mustn't uh mustn't have finished this all. Ooh. Yes. Um What did that one do? I'll have to find out. Ooh. Got it. Okay, let's let's just find the last people, the ghoulies that are hiding about. It says there's two more. Where? I'm pretty sure we cleared this place. So I wonder where they are. Audio controls. about where all the controls are. My question now is where is the other two? Who or what is left? Oh. Here's the legendary one. I wonder where you went. Boxing glove. Yeah, it's pretty boring, but, you know, you tried. Let's hop down. Get out of here, Nick. Woohoo. Okay, well, now we're going to do the easy thing. Super easy part. Which is we're just going to go kill Schwan here. 
Swans Pond. You're playing with the wrong thing. Brilliant entrance, Swan. Mustard map. Unreal. I'll let you have one swing at me. And then it's my turn. Furious Power Fist. Increase damage after every consecutive hit. Nice. Now I know his boat fragments have a lot of fiberglass, which obviously a lot of people love, including me. Who's that? Beast of the common sorted. Oh dear. How long, how long here? How long a minute? Alright, I'll just take what I can out of here. Oh, Swan's note. You are Swan. Okay. Well, let's see. Edgar Swan, day 14. My physiological evolution seems to have stabilized. The medical team says my muscle mass has more than tripled since the experiment began. And my neural efficiency has improved markedly. This particular strain of the modified FEV has been a remarkable success. I appear to have received all of the anticipated benefits without the typical adverse effects. My application to join the research team is awaiting director approval. Although tests may be in order, I hope to assist with my own experiments in the common days. So what, was he like a scientist at some stage here? Uh, so I nipped a few cigs, big deal. Smart asses may run the place, but they can't do whatever they want. I got rights. Trial worked out for me in the end. They agreed to probation. I stay inside for a month, write at something every day, and they'll bring me all the food and water I want. They think this is punishment? Sure beat scrubbing floors all day. Should have known something was wrong when they came back for more tests. Every bone in my body aches. I'm on the edge all the time. Jittery. I can barely write. But my mind's just racing. Damn it, what's going on? What did they do to me? Huh. Well, that was the ramblings of uh, El Swan here. I don't see... I don't see much else lying around, and the rads is slowly eating away at me, so it's best I probably mosey out of here. So, what was Swan? Was someone part of a clinical trial gone horribly wrong? Seems likely. Bingo. Hello, Grognag the Barbarian comic. This one is the Maiden of Mars. Cool. Reader's advice. Still think you boys are out of your mind. You know what I'd do? Head around the north side, rush the bandstand, be quick, and you might be able to get some defenses up before he notices you. If you can hold up there, you might just have enough cover to outlast him. Whatever you do, don't go in the pond. I don't think there's anything else lying around. Is that Swan's Pond pretty much covered? Kath here had a note on her. Which, of course, I will read. Once we read of it. The torn note. It's no joke, Kath. He's out there. I seen him. Tore Davis's head clean off. Boy, no, boy never even got his gun out. Give it up, girl. Girl like you's got a future with us. Don't throw it all away on some full dare. Ah, so the full dare was to go into the river. And say hello to Sean. Oh well. Mikhail. Another torn ladder. Huh. Oh no. It was the torn ladder. Let's see. You know how much I miss you, but it's too dangerous. If you stay in Diamond City, at least I know you're safe. If your mind's really made up, then be careful. Travel at night, stick to the river, and whatever you do, don't go into the common. So everything around here is basically to insinuate that there is lots of death and destruction when it comes to Swan's Pond. Luckily, I killed Swan, and he is no longer part of the uh, the overall problem here. Where did I find... Can you find Davies? Is there anything in the water? I think I covered everything. I would imagine so. What is this? Fugitives hollow tip. Another thing. Lost them? Yeah, we made it, 
Lolly. We made it. <sighs> Why'd they let us go? No, no. Come on. Let's keep moving. Wait. The common. You've heard about the common. Oh, God. Mar, look out! Watch your hound. <laughs> Well, Swan was definitely made out to be an extremely scary thing. The only thing I wish is I wish he scaled so that I didn't just pop him in the face for about 10 rounds. But other than that, it was pretty cool, wasn't it, Nick? <laughs> Nick, I'm away. Apparently, there's another note that I had missed. Let's see if I'll find it. There it is, day 21. Okay. Seizures, seizures continue. After the second one this morning, I was ordered back to the observation lab for further study. My prognosis is poor. I made the discovery myself. The viral strain I was infected with is fundamentally unstable. My mental capacity peaked two days ago and has begun rapidly deteriorating. The seizures are just the beginning. Will they reject me like all the others? Ooh, creepy. And then apparently there should be one last wee thing in the boat. Find keeper's log. Don't know what it is. Well, we play it. Seriously, this is getting freaking ridiculous. Merging the common and public garden was a jagged enough pill to swallow, but I went along with it. What? I'm gonna fight the developers? But how much smaller can they really make the swan pond? We get boats crashing into each other every day. It's like a glorified puddle. Hmm. But what do I know, right? I'm just the groundskeeper of the world's smallest grounds. Might as well stay home from now on. My garden's bigger than this. And at least I get to eat the peppers and cucumbers. Not watch tourists cry in disappointment. <laughs> oh, that's rough. Okay, so... Well, we cleared that out. I suppose... We could go on. I want to... Hmm, I want to head over to Hester's. I'm going to clear Hester's and then I'm going to go over to the four-leaf fish packing plant. Because I want to clear it and I also want to do, obviously, the... Uh... I thought that was the rain there. Alright, so Hester's and then the lab right side. So this should be pretty easy. Looking to get set up, if that's why we're here. Besides, these aren't my type. Yeah. You can trust the Hester's guarantee of safety. They took one too many orders. Now that's one way to get the coolant pumping. Hmm. Okay. They're gone for good. Why waste the bullet? The chills. This would be the place to provide them. In the house or in the yard, your family will love a robot from Hester's. Where am I? Come at me! You playing hide and seek? All right. Oh no! Hey, here's what I've got. Nick, you will have to be my mule once again. That's fine. Uh, I don't expect to pick up much more. Hello. Never say never, am I right? from Hester's means quality, safety, and reliability. This place could give a mutant nightmares. I'll tell you what, though, they were making money hand over fist. So, this is what two centuries without a good dusting looks like. Ask farm. Don't think I didn't notice. Tell me we don't need to find something in here, because that may take a while. 
You've been rather upbeat as of late, Nick. A bomb could go off in this place and no one would be the wiser. <laughs> When was the last time someone came through here? Yeah, there's the ooh. Well, that did something, didn't it? This area cleared. Proceeding with search all clear. Soltron class combat robot to unknown interloper. Reveal yourself immediately. Intruder, like tried to make a wee bit of a base out of here. Identify yourself. Next to the company. Thankfully, nothing we couldn't handle. <gasps> Ooh. Sales. Nick. Hey, looking for something? What can you give me that I could just. Yeah. Oh. Anything I can lug for you? I have a plan. It's a pretty good one. Let's scrap what we have here, so I can keep moving. <laughs> Should have went to the red rocket. I don't know why I thought this place would be like empty. What? Thought that would have surely put me down. <gasps> I've no grilled rad stag. I forgot to go hunting. Neck. Where is it? Ooh. Normally, I would save a lot of these, but on this one occasion, a new. That's much better. Last time someone came through here. Well, give me plenty of mods too. Right, Nick. I'm really dancing, or I'm really playing with fire here when it comes to all these items. Anything else lying around? Ha <laughs> ha. That's why you're thorough. You find we little things like this. Obviously this has been made as a pathway for some reason. <gasps> or potentially no reason. Okay, we cleared that out. Cleared under here. Oh. Get all the adhesive and get. Final room. Cement didn't put me over. That's quite a surprise, actually. Talk about collecting dust. Ooh. Ooh. See? That's why you always gotta check. 
We are lucky. And last but not least, nothing up here. I would imagine nothing worth talking about. Nah. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Hester's. I thought there would have been a wee bit of a story or something to it. You learn a wee bit about this with Professor Goodfeels, or Feels Good from, uh, ah, Sunshine Tidings? Anyway, let's go back to Red Rock and leave stuff off, come right back. On to Four Leaf it is. We'll need to go about procuring more ammo. How many camps do I have? 6,000. I had 10 at one stage. I think there's about a thousand sitting in the workshop. I think I should swap over to using this a bit more often. Oh. As you can see, Nick's well equipped at the moment. Very equipped. Okay, so I know there's a grognag at the top of this. I think it's easy enough to get to though. <gasps> it is. We are marked location. Quite a lot of stuff in that metal box, damn. And boom. Hell yeah. So if you're doing any uh, unarmed or melee builds, uh, come with the trickster spawns here. I think it's one of the few that actually respawns, so if you don't know where it is, uh, it's just beside Andrew Station and the south of Boston Police Department. In terms of getting up to the bus, it's next to impossible from here. You need to probably either have a jetpack or get up there. Funny enough, we don't have a jetpack yet. Let's work on that. Slow come Joe. That's the exit for Andrew Station. Oh. <laughs> sure is. Sure is. Oh, we have a really cool mark location coming up. What do you all see this? So, this is what I like to call, it's just a strange wee factory. Oh dear. Tells you all you need to know about what you're about to find inside. Look like a counter doing cartwheels too. For you see, this place contains a terminal with a really interesting story. To kind of tell you that things... Well, a lot of people knew the bombs were coming. Not too sure why this guy did, but we're about to find out. Uh, I'm not too sure what the factory made it. Looks like it made it. Oh no, what do we Good. Used to always like be really wary when I seen the Red Widow, but yeah. I think it made like ventilation stuff, or I say ventilation, no, like pipe works for uh, the vaults. At least, you know, it seems to be. Now where'd you go? I guess they got wise and bolted. You don't see too many enemies trying to just run away. It's another thing. Like a New Vegas that you there would always be someone trying to like run away. Just scramble. Love it. That's it. Here, here, here. Look at the glass where we're getting here. Nice. Master Lock safe, watch this thing. I'm one with the safe. Okay, well, I'm not one with a safe right now. There it is. Sweet. 
Automatic laser pistol. Right. That's how we read it, the foreman's terminal. So, financial reports, all scrambled. Safety reports, scrambled. Foreman's logs, though, none of them are. So, new leaves. Um, let's see. Roger really came through for me. This work site is right by the old neighborhood, and the union had a placement program for vets that helped me get the foreman gig without too much fuss. I've got to buy the old bird a beer the next time I see him. If my time overseas has taught me anything, it's that war changes people. When I first laced my boots in Georgia, I thought enlisting in the army was just a way to blow shit up in the name of God and Uncle Sam. I was a self-centered kid who wanted to play with guns. Now I understand that service, what service really means, and what looking out for this bunch of teamsters means too. It may not be the same as guard duty for a camp of 800 soldiers, but it's something. Strange call from Lavone. Um, I haven't seen her since the briefing room in Portland, and now she calls me about her nephew's new baseball team. She must be speaking in code, and I don't know what I think, I, and I don't like what I think she meant. Sending the team home to their families, I'll just say it's a union thing. I was sleeping in my chair when it happened. They must have missed the city with the big one. Farmingham's gone from what little I heard on the radio before it went quiet. Things aren't too good here either. At least I've got my little castle here to hold up in. I'd probably be vaporized if I was doing my regular thing when it came. Thanks, Lavone. So she kind of warned, warned this guy. He was an ex-veteran as to, you know, what was going on. So let's... Let's drop down, claim our goodies, which is essentially just a load of first aid, pre-war money, just random assortment of items. It's not, not the biggest thing in the world, but, you know, if you want to just call in and grab stuff, that's the way to go. Anyway, strange factory over, lots of hard hats if you need them for your settlers. Let's head on to the four-leaf fish packing. Okay, so we've got a wee unmarked construction site here. Also a load of super mutants in it, so I'm trying to avoid confrontation with them. Oh. It seems we have attracted the attention of, well, just about everyone, it seems. <coughs> That's all I've got to say to that is, ow, that hurt. Surrender the bingo. A junkie's gauss rifle? Now we're into some serious lads and darries. Um I don't have too much two millimeter EC, but it seems this thing's a bit of a beast. Does increasing amounts of damage with the more withdrawal uh, effects, okay. So it's it's basically the crappest like sort of gauss rifle I could find. Brilliant. Okay. Well wonder is there like a steamer trunk in here? There's an advanced lock safe, so if I don't mind, I'm gonna crack this open. Sweet. Looks good to me. <laughs> Wish this was a settlement. This is very defensible. Good location, too, for a settlement. 
I mean, the closest one to here would probably be like University Point, maybe. Oh, must have been a trap. Well, thankfully we have Nick. We set it off on our behalf. Okay, that's the Gwinnett place. That's the General Atomics Factory. It's getting kind of hard to ignore the Pudwin at this stage, isn't it? Is there not a quest for the General Atomics? Yeah, that was... Looking, aren't they? Building something. Cool. Okay. Damn. Hey, hey, that was some amount of stuff. Okay, firstly, I want to end the lab. There's a series of tripwires, uh, which I need to activate. So I'm going to have a read of this note again. So I've had, like, a full night's sleep to think about this. Though it is pretty easy. So there's five lasers we need to set off in a certain combination. Number one's by the truck here. And then we've got to go over the truck up the stairs and then back round to three. So I know where they all are. Let's have a look. So the first tripwire is here. Right, so what's been triggered? Good. A vertebrate? There it is. Well, I think I could have went over the fence. Eh, that'll work too. And then it's this one. Where's this one? Ooh. You know what? We'll do this in a second. The violence! Oh gosh, I just love it when you see them. A grenade. Eh, yeah, cocktails. Just raiders, it seems. Oh. I love just the running gun right into their, like, just jabbing them right in the throat. <laughs> Doesn't seem like this will be landing. You're in <laughs> now. Doesn't seem to be anyone else. Okay. Back to my conundrum of a problem. Let's see. Down here, nope. Well, we've discovered the factory. I've never been in the General Atomics factory in any of my playthroughs, so it's definitely going to be interesting. As for this other tripwire, there it is. Okay, so we have to trip this, but not go back through this. So we'll use the truck to jump back over, because then we need to trigger this. Okay, with all them triggered, we should do the last one here. Or not the last one, this one. Why is it not working? Is this a little buggy? I hope not. Because then this will all be for naught. Hmm, forgot about that little factor.
Why does not trigger? Uh, they will be first. Anyone else? I could, I could beat this whole game just with Pikmin's uh, blade here. It's just, it's so much fun. Hey, hello. Yeah. <laughs> it is just funny when it goes, when it triggers. Seems someone set up camp here a while back. Didn't do them too much good. Hello. <laughs> Too slow. Oh, flies back to the Pudwind. That is some size of our ship. Okay. Well, Nick. I haven't triggered it just yet. But not to fear. I will, I will get it sorted here. Oh. Uh, this is one of them ones where you just... It's at the starting position. No. It's over here. There we go. Yes. Yeah. All right. So I need to trigger them all again. So let's just very gently drop back down. And open Trisha's note once again. Just I get it wrapped around my head how this goes. So it's the one behind the truck. Then it's the one over by the stairs. Then it's the one at the entrance. Then four and five. Okay. Do they all look like they can be triggered? Yes. So, numero uno. Alright, done that. We'll hop the fence. And trigger the one here. Then we need to hop the fence again. I know who's been triggering them. Hey, What's over the here. Plan? Wait there. I'll stay put. Right. Maybe it might have been him. Um, am I going to blame Nick for my inability to do this? Yes. He probably did walk through it. And I think this is it. I could have done the master lock terminal. To be honest, for XP and all, probably. But. Why are you not triggering? I am confused. Trigger for me. Right, so mine's a little bugged, it seems. Because you trigger this, and then you run up the stairs. Then you trigger the last one. It's not going to trigger. I'm going to have to do the master lock terminal. Buggy Mick bugged. Tell you what I will do, I'll reload it. If this obviously doesn't work. Okay, so they're working. What if I reload the game? Nope, bugged. Buggedy McBugged. I don't know why it's like that, but we move on. Which we are obviously very easy to complete. <laughs> and not easy to complete. Why don't the triggers just work? No, uh, I'm going reset my game here. Unfortunately, it seems to be a bit of a crippling blog. I don't know if it was caused by any of the performance patch mods that I have, but one way or another, tripwire don't work. But thankfully, we have a master lock uh, ability, or ability to open a master lock. Come on. And now we're into Morosky's chem lab. I presume we're going to find company in here. As my suits. As my suits, you say? I'll take all your hazmat suits. Oh, good. Lovely. Well, everything in here now belongs to me. Hazmat suit. 
Because this is one way to get it. And I've almost leveled up with that. So, sounds good to me. Not as much meds as the last. The, the shipment was huge. I would have thought this place would have been jam-packed. Full of ingredients, like, for making meds, but not nothing beyond that. Plenty of mad making stuff. Not much in the mad department. I'm curious. Oh well. Let's go into the feet. Let's go into the plant itself. Oh. All right. So this is like a wee hidden area. Sounds like we have company straight away. Oh, hey, the nuclear cooler. Cherry and a quantum. Both good finds. Where is Nick? Nick isn't here because I told Nick to stay put, didn't I? Oh, you're a hideous little thing, aren't you? Anyone else up for it? Come on. Come on, I'll take the rest of you on. Come on! I knew, I knew that fell apart. I just had that, had that notion. Got it. Combat rifle. What about we pick up? Guy down there. Let's have a let's pay a visit. He definitely looks like he's about to get up, doesn't he? I tell you, as of late, terminals have had next to no, like, you know, the wee things you get here. I don't know what they're called. For dud removal and just generally... Oh, I think he's getting up. the guy on the floor here hasn't triggered. Situation normal. Law and order has He just one hit him. Approach and identify yourself. Law abiding citizens will not be harmed. Attention. Interfering with a law. Fusion core? Here, here. Is a felony. Some adhesive, I'll take that. Must get a settlement, or well, a few of them set up to do like adhesive farming. I think it's mud fruit, potatoes, and a and purified water, so something to that degree. Mixed vegetable starch, which obviously can be turned into, you guessed it, beautiful, awesome, amazing vegetable starch, which gives adhesive. Here, here. How oh, many on up here? Skeleton was sleeping good. Is that we desk fan I spot? Mm-hmm. Is indeed. Do you make a plane is under attack again? Seems to be the other ones no one wants to attack because of all my turrets. Oh, you're 
need like a new class. Whoa, 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 whoa. Attention, citizens. You may now, attention. This is now a combat zone. You may suffer harm up to end, including death, if you remain in the area. This notice required by law. You, this utility protection, you are, enforcement ah, what a, a class act there. I owe all my, okay, I owe my, owe all my success to none other than that protectron. Hello there, lovely steamer trunk full of goodies. I can still read through a few more things before I'm maxed out. Nick's not here to help me, so I have to bear that in mind. The other thing, I'm pretty sure. There it is! Capitalism on you, a G Tales of a Junk Town, Jerky Vendor. Prices, once again, have just got much better. The skull in the urinal. Nah, the skull in the locker. Mmm, give me that. I don't think there is anything else to this place, if I am not mistaken. Utility Protectron, you are a goat, so I'ma leave you be. You deserve to live the rest of your days nice. just wandering about this place. Is a, it is a peaceful way to go. I hear another fusion generator. Of course, I will want to go access. Ah, look. look at the wee things you find just lying around. Love all the wee teddy finds. Rescued him over there. We're down there. We're down there. I'll just pick up a few more things just lying around. We have another fusion core. The amount of adhesive we find in here? This place is definitely up there in the, the charts. Yes. Ah. Didn't want to leave. And if he's still around here to harass people. If I can put them down. Put them down. Alright. Awesome. Awesome. That's this place covered. Time to get out, get neck, and move on out. Well, now we don't need to worry about them. I wonder is the one that malfunctions still on? It is, see? That's how you know it's bugged. It's still on. Anyway, Nick. Where are you? Ooh. You're coming with me. Hey. I'm all ears. Come on. Done and done. Awesome. Okay. So I've discovered General Atomics. It'll be an interesting wee place to blitz through. Um, I'll have a wee look, see if that's our next destination. And uh, if we zoom out, obviously if we cross over, there's the castle. Best probably discovering that soon as well, just so we have it. Heck, might be even good just clearing it out. Although I do want to do it with Preston. I think that would be cool. Never seen that before, so... Yeah. Let's see... I'll need to run back to the red rocket, deposit all my stuff, and then see where I'm going from there. So, so we'll conclude by defending Jamaica Plain. From, I'm not, I'm not sure what we're defending it from. Again, I've arrived, and if someone could tell me who I'm fighting off, 
Hello. Super mutant radio. If that's what you want. Oh. Thought this place was bug. Turns out it's not. Defended it very anticlimactic because there just wasn't too much going on. But we did it. So since I'm here, I kinda wanna get further into the south, like this portion of the map. This is where I want to be concentrating. So I'm gonna just push through and then wrap around to finish them all. I think I think that's what I wanna do. Anyway, we're going to head towards this direction, because there is some power armor floating in the water. Well, it's not really floating, it's actually sunk right to the bottom. Uh, it's a wee old military convoy, as you can see. Um, is that a wee crate? No. What sort of armor have we been blessed with here? X-01. Or X-01. Awesome. You will add to the collection. Right, so well, let's uh, let us go and explore some more. Thank you all for joining me in this episode. See you in the next one.